ASMR video. Today's video is part two of our look through the Christmas TV guide from What's On TV magazine from 1995. So this will cover the 16th of December to the 29th of December inclusive. So it's not quite a new year guide, but we've got most part of the Christmas break in here. For those of you who didn't watch the first video, I went through the rest of the magazine. So this is the magazine in question. I flicked through the articles and other pages, but I left the gold for this video, uh, where we're going to go through day by day and uh, take a look at what was on TV. And I'll point out things that I remember from uh, this period and while I'm waffling away you can obviously pause the video and look for yourself and because there's bound to be things that crop up that I don't talk about so okay let's get started shall we so we're starting on December the 16th on Saturday again like my other videos of this magazine we've got the standard blue pink yellow green colors I associate to this day with those channels. Again, this is the uh, the period before um, Channel 5 existed. Uh, I think we've still got another year and a half or so to go before that, that um, comes, uh, comes up. So we've got a little bit of decoration. They've put a bit of flourish on there for Christmas. We've got the snowflakes. Before snowflake meant another thing in this country anyway. Looking at uh, the Saturday, we've got some kids TV programs. One that uh, comes to mind straight away, I've noticed, is one called Willy Fog. No, that's what I think it is. It's, um, I could be wrong on it, of course. I'm, I'm wrong quite often on these things. But I think it's the like around the world in 80 days, uh, Phileas Fogg. I guess that's Willy Fogg, maybe. It's this animated adventure series. That, that could well be right. Uh, we've got Live and Kicking on Grandstand, of course. Where well, they've got... I mean, it's not the best Grandstand ever. But you've got Live Rugby on there. I'll, go, I'll just go channel by channel. So you've got uh, Jim Davidson's Generation Game, Auntie's Christmas Crackers. I used to like those. Well, actually, that's only 10 minutes long, that one. Uh, it's like a preview of what's on, apparently. North House Party, of course. Michael Barrymore joins Anthea Turner to present the lottery draw. That's, I always associate Michael Barrymore with ITV. Uh, Casualty, of course. Always staple for Saturday nights a film called Scrooged which looks quite good actually but I've not gone around to watch it uh, Match of the Day and on BBC Two we've got I've got to say nothing that really appeals to me Scratchy and Co Children's Magazine Show Denise Van Outen, yeah, that, I don't know who Malcolm Jeffries is. I don't remember the pop group menswear either. But we got some classics. We got uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Uh, music, movies, games, and videos. A Team. New Baywatch. Gladiators, here we go. Semi final. Blind date. The National Lottery Jackpot was all announced as it happens. This is obviously when the, the lottery was a big deal still. They've even got a space where you can write your lottery numbers, or the winning ones anyway. Uh, Jack D had his own show, didn't realise that. Gazette of Importalia on Channel 4. I think it may have been 
the stage now. We've got two two double pages for Sky. Oh no, we don't. Still the one page. I'm not going to go through the Sky channels. Uh, I don't want to make the video too long, and I'm really conscious of the fact that you know, these videos do go on quite a long time sometimes. So on Sunday the 17th of December, one thing that uh, really completely comes to my uh, draws my attention is the draw for Euro 96 here. That would have been really exciting to watch. And it only goes on for an hour as well. Unlike the shows these days where they have a load of farting around for about three hours. Naked Gun, great film. Vicar and Dibley. I'll have to repeat that one. anything that comes up on channel 2 Mrs Merton last in the comedy chapter is hosted by Caroline Hook I can only assume she got married then because I thought it was Caroline Ahern so it must be that she was, this is before she was married then Like the draws on Euro 96 draws on uh, ITV as well. Interestingly, they don't they they devote 15 minutes less to it than what uh, BBC do. Highlights of the Inslee League. Greenwich Street Party, Beatles Anthology. London's burning. The Boitalia game. Not sure which one it's going to be. They tell you it could be one of either. I like Safe by the Bell. Monday. Let's see, postman pack classic. Telly addicts used to like that program. Oh, this in trouble about something. Thin Blue Line was a good program. I used to enjoy watching that. X Files. That's another one I used to watch as a kid. Probably at my most geekiest. I was a big fan of Space Precinct. Freddo. That just reminds me of chocolate now. I'd love to watch that back and see how good it was. But I remember it was about aliens in space or something. And they were like cops or something. Quite interested in that. Sorry, just looking at the page three story. Uh, oh. Shoreland Street, I remember that name. Rocket on day two, gone for the film to compete with EastEnders and Thin Blue Line, we've got Cory beforehand. Beastly Christmas, all these weird programs. That are animal, oh, animal theme, okay, not that weird then. I've got two weeks to go through, so I'm just going to um, be even less specific about what I choose to look, look at. I, I 
used to watch Fresh Prince, as I'm sure most of us did. And occasionally I used to watch that one afterwards as well, and I used to go to my nan's and she had like four channels. So at 6.25 it was pretty much news or news or, well I wouldn't watch that. So it was Heartbreak High. pretty good Michael Jackson performance we're still not massively Christmassy though are we I suppose I probably wouldn't have broken up from school until probably the Friday series. Get your own back. That was quite good when you gunged the, uh, your parents. Wow, well, Gladiator Falcon's got an 11 year old son. Didn't realise that. And I've just noticed as well that the Queen's Nose, last in the drama series, Tom asks for a wish to play football with Spurs defender Gary Mabbott. Paul Daniels that would have been a good programme at the time Top Gear there but that was before it got silly that was when it actually was about reviewing cars which is not Christmas by the way I much prefer the later Top Gears Des O'Connor Fortune. Uh, I really like Wheel of Fortune. I've got to say, Channel 4 is not really my favourite. Although I did used to like Bike and Mice from Mars. And I got saved by the bell. I was sure I saw that one. Did I see it on a different channel as well earlier on in the week? Interesting, but they're both. They're both. Um, we're on to Thursday now. Top of the pops. I've included the Christmas number one though because there was one more Sunday to go. Christmas, very exciting time as a kid. I'd have been passing off the rules at this point, probably. Christian sport, that would have been interesting with uh, Prince Nassim. Red Dwarf. news for you, still hosted by Angus Deaton. Fantasy Football League, new series, wow. I didn't realise how late it was on, 11.10. Family Fortunes are some real classic game shows around right this time. Looking at much of Channel 4, I can't 
I'm saying it feels so much to me. So we're about to start it again. We've had a we've had a a week. That sort of show I used to quite like. Favourite clips from BBC Christmas comedy shows. So you've got to be fair, actually, the only thing I like there is one thing in the grave. Got match of the day here, not Liverpool v Arsenal, 23rd of December, Newcastle v Nottingham Forest. Believe it or not, back then I was at the top of the table clash, actually. I think Forest finished like third or fourth, I believe, in that season. Top of the pops, too. Simply the best awards. Another chance to see the TV awards show celebrating the 40th birthday of Children's ITV, presented by Neil Buchanan and Diane Udall. Here, of course, is Jet from Gladiators, featuring Take That, he's 17, and members of the Gladiators team. That is somewhere I want to be. Neil Buchanan, absolute legend. Jet from Gladiators, don't say anymore. And yeah, Great bands as well, and Gladiators, wow. I'd love to go back and watch that program. So we've got Rugby uh, World Cup uh, review. This is where South Africa won it. Uh, England won against, yeah, dramatic victory against Australia. I think Rob Andrew scored a drop goal near the end. Uh, All Blacks, Jonah Lomu was just astonishing. Absolutely terrorised England. In the semi final, we've got Gladiators the final here. Hang on a minute. How do they know it's in the final? I'm sure Gladiators was on last Saturday. Hang on a minute. Was Gladiators on last Saturday? So this one here says. The second semi-final, right, and it's not a repeat. And then a week later, it's ten years in the final. Oh, imagine, imagine reading that before you've seen the other one. That's really random and quite poor, really. Uh, you've got blind date uh, again, national announcing the lottery result, and you've got the place to put the numbers. Stars in their eyes. Jack D again, prime time on Saturday night. I do like Jack D actually. Sunday, Christmas Eve. Now we're Christmassy, proper Christmassy here. We've got Pink Panther, Oliver. A Flintstones family Christmas, Noel's Christmas past, E.T., Christmas with Cliff, Last of the Summer Wine, oh, great stuff. Save Christmas, that might be quite fun. Hollywood's Greatest Stunts, you start like that sort of thing. Good old James Bond. Christmas Heartbeat. Human Frame Christmas Special. Jeremy B. The Hosts. Miracle on 34th Street, there we go. I was back in this time. And here we are, Christmas Day. We got a picture of him 
Majesty there. What do we wake up to? Some cartoons, never ended story. Neighbours has even made it on, not even a repeat on Christmas Day. Top of the Pops. I think actually that particular episode, as I film this today, in two days' time, I think on BBC Three or whatever it's on, I've got the um, Top of the Pops uh, 90s ones on uh, a series link. And uh, I'm pretty sure that's the one that's going to be on this uh, this Friday. Got Own Force and Horses. Environmentally aware, unexpected inheritance to enhance their fortunes. I think that might be the one uh, Mother Nature's Son, I think. Maybe the Peckham Spring. I think it is. Uh, we got uh, Noel's Christmas Presents. I like that sort of thing. You know, dreams come true for special people. That's nice. Outtakes from BBC, don't see that sort of thing anymore. I'd like to see outtakes from One Foot in the Grave. Uh, we've got EastEnders, only half, only half an hour though. Oh no, hang on, my mistake. Continues at 8.30. So let's see if there's any particular things going on. Uh, not really. Keeping up appearances. Oh, that was big enough to have an 8 o'clock Christmas Day special. One Foot in the Grave, yeah. Classic. Oh, yeah. Snowbound House in the Countryside. Yeah, that's the one that I thought it was in the previous uh, video. Really good episode, that. I missed the Queen's Speech, of course. It's not for me that, but I know it's popular. So we've got uh, Take That On, literally at the same time as Only Force and Horses. That's a tough choice, that one. Oh, that was part one. Ghostbusters 2, great film. Never have seen Wind in the Willows. So then Jerome, the massive at the time. The snowman, of course, you can't have Christmas without that being on. Boxing Day now. I've already forgotten what day it is. That's 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 proper Christmas, that is. Not knowing what day it's on. Sports results. Beethoven, a new series of Good Night Sweetheart. Finn Blue Line. Looks like that's again really good comedy there. Second part of the Take That concert there. Bit about the new James Bond film, Golden Knight. I like that film, but not as much as I like the game. Michael Brian Morgan. So we're on Wednesday now, a few days to go, 25 minutes. Okay, Teenage Mini Rue Turtles, classic. The 
greatest music party in the world. David Bowie, 17 Eternal, Shaggy, Michelle Gell, Boyzone, Alice Morissette, Lightning Seeds, D Ream, Mega Belly, CJ Lewis, and Ultimate Chaos. I'd say about a 50% success rate there. Here we've got uh, Back to the Future Part 2. Brilliant film. Hot Shots, really funny film that. special here look first of three specially edited episodes angels incident or oh, accident I wonder what happens there there we got Wheel of Fortune Des O'Connor giving much attention to channel 4 so apologies if that's your favourite channel two days to go ah oh, the Peggy patch that was always my worst one always to do with nature and that not really my bag Teddy Addicts Christmas special break on a Thursday special charity edition I always think Christmas specials after Christmas don't feel as special to me it needs to be in the build up to Christmas or maybe Christmas day at a push boxing day but as a kid on the 28th you're, if you're not still playing with your toys you're sort of you know, the best bits are gone for you Oh, they think it's all over. Brilliant show. Absolutely adored that growing up. Oh, classic. Grand day out. Got uh, Wallace and Gromit. David Copperfield Magic. I liked watching magic shows as a kid. Daffy Duck's Quack Busters cartoon compilation. Daffy Duck in inherits a fortune and sets up as a ghost buster with Bugs Bunny and Porky Pig. That might be quite funny. Well, I can't imagine watching a cartoon for like an hour and a quarter. Pig's a great film. <gasps> Mr. Bean. That was a repeat. Schofield's TV Gold Comedy Clips Comedy the Holiday Theme Edward Cezanne's Really good film They've got the Super, new, the Super Mario Brothers as well day of this guide not that much to talk about really considering it's a Friday Ghost is a very good film Christmas sports always fun or used to be Shooting Stars oh, I like Shooting Stars Knowing Me Knowing You All okay that's really good. That's a good evening. Going like this. You have to miss the, for the film, though, mind. Another Home and Away special. Family Fortunes again. Gremlins 2. Let's end it on Euro Trash, including an Italian porn shopping channel and the Greenland Santa Summit.
whatever the hell that is. Actually, no, let's not, let's not leave it on the Euro Trash. Let's go back to something else. What else is there to talk about? World's Strongest Men. Man, I used to like watching those. They were really good. Really fun programs to watch. Like trying to pull a lorry and stuff like that. Good fun. Well, that's it then. I'll just double check it is. Yes, it is. A bit of radio. I don't want to. Holidays. So, there we have it. I really enjoyed looking through that. Really, really enjoyed it. Uh, I find that the TV back then was absolutely brilliant. Really good. That would have been a hell of a Christmas to watch TV. Knowing that I had four channels, obviously in those days, if you were lucky enough to have a video recorder, you could then watch one and record another, but that's it. If there was something on all three channels, or three of the four, you're stuffed. So, um, yeah, really good fun. Really good uh, to look through it, and hopefully it's brought back uh, lots of memories for you. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, especially if you stay to the end. Uh, I've got more TV guides and plenty of other things to come on the channel. So uh, thank you for your continued support, and I will catch you on the next video. Cheers.